Cause your body's on fire Show me how to control it Don't get your split and get higher I love how you roll it I put my hand there Hold it I'ma be a rock fire I'ma be a rock fire What's up guys, Sam Wilder from Guitar Legend. We're looking at Own It today, all right? Uh, you are gonna need the cap on fret number three, okay? So take a look at these chords quickly. Make sure you know them before you move on. We have E minor, D major, A minor seven, and C. All right, these four chords go around for the whole song. So just look at the diagrams, make sure you know them, and just pause the video if you need to practice them, all right? So most of this lesson is gonna be going over the rhythm because the chords are just the same thing, all right? So the basic, basic rhythm, okay, which might sound a little boring, but if you are a beginner, I would stick to this for now, is gonna be down, up, down, 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 down, Okay, just down, up, down, all right? And even the more advanced rhythm, that is where the emphasis is gonna be, okay? So just start with this, because then you get used to that main beat, okay? You can swap the up for a down if you want to. Down, 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 down. All right, but if you wanna do the advanced rhythm, make sure you put an up in the middle, okay? Because you'll see why in a minute. Now, if it's just you and a guitar, right, we need to try and almost copy the drums a little bit. All right, now the drums, it's not just as simple as ba, 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 ba. Okay, there's other stuff in between. Ba, 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 ba. Right, you have that. There's all the little hi-hats and things in the middle, and we need to get that within our rhythm. So to add all of these little bits in, we're gonna have what I call ghost notes or ghost rhythms, right? So we're still going down, up, down, down, up, down. But in between, we have all the in-between stuff, right? So we can just start slow and then we'll, we'll gradually get faster, all right? So the best way to do this probably for you is to think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. But look what my arm's doing. It's just constantly going ma, ba, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so the arm's constantly moving to a steady pulse, right? But you need to think more in threes, and the last one's a two, obviously. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Emphasize down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. If you miss the strings uh, now and then, it doesn't matter as long as you get those important down, up, downs. Okay? So this is gonna be the advanced rhythm, all right? So before you try and play it fast, add the chords in while we do it slow, like this. If you're looking for the next big challenge, then sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to my backing tracks and all of my lessons. I teach you improvisation, soloing, advanced chords, theory, and techniques. All right, enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. Right, we need to gradually speed this up so we can play along to the song, right? So just play along with me. We'll go slow, we'll stop, we'll go a bit faster, we'll stop, we'll go a bit faster, and we'll try and work it up, all right? So, one, two, Three, four, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's try and go a little quicker this time. One, 
two, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, 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 down, up, I'ma be right by Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, cool. Let's try and go a little quicker again. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're pretty much there now, we're pretty much full speed. Okay, this is where it gets a little trickier. Okay, so once you're here, you can play the whole song. Now, for those of you that want to get really advanced and just kind of give this song even more flavor, I'll just give you a couple of tricks to add into this, all right? So one thing that's cool is taking that C major shape, slide it up to right at the end of the chord progression, okay? You're kind of going back to the D major just for a second. Um, but it's easy to just slide it up. So just listen. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down. All right, so you can slide across for that last down, up, down, or the last up, down, or even just the last down sounds good, look. Okay, so just getting that just for the last half beat or so, it can sound quite nice, right? Just brings us back into the E minor because we get movement that way. We get C, D, dun, 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 dun. It just adds movement up to the bass note, all right? So that's an option. Uh, another thing that I do sometimes, especially with this song, is I pulse the chord hand, the chord fingers, right? So for E minor, we only have two fingers, right? So while you're strumming away, all the other strings are going to keep going, even if you take that off. Right? You've got four other strings playing here. So you can pulse the hand in. So I go pulse, 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 squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then I'm releasing the pressure in between just to give it more uh, dynamic, more uh, shape. Makes sense. You can also hammer them on. So at the first down. So you start with the fingers off, you strum, then you hammer the fingers on. You can do it with most of the chords to be honest. E minor is the easiest one to do it with. Okay, so that's another cool trick, just to make it sound cool every now and then just add in some hammer-ons, right? Okay, another thing we can do, and this kind of uh, is part of the song to be fair, you'll notice there's like this cut, 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 right at the end, yeah? So we can, we can do that with our strumming or we can actually make a fist, and with the side of the fist, you hit the body of the guitar. One, two, three, four. Right at the end, let me show you. Go down, up, down, down, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so it all happens on that C chord. Down, up, down, down, hey, up, ba. Down, up, down, down, fist, fist, fist. Down, up, down, down, ba, ba, ba. So you got three hits there. Down, up, down, down, hit, hit, hit. Okay, or you can just emphasize the rhythm. So down, up, down, down, down. You can do it with the strumming, but I think it sounds really cool to have do exactly what the track is doing. 
Now, another thing that you can watch out for, and I haven't really <laughs> expanded on this too much because it would be an extremely long lesson for the sake of something very intricate and minute. But for a lot of the song, there's all these little cutouts and hits. Um, so you can just kind of watch out for those. You just have to learn them as they come. So there might be like a down, 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 down up, down, 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 up, down, down, up. You know, just certain parts of the song, they it cuts out, or maybe the chords disappear, and it's just the rhythm, right? Sometimes it's just rhythm, the, like you can listen, and the music kind of cuts out, except the okay. When that happens, just don't play chords. Just uh, have flat hand, just groove of the rhythm. All right, that's it from me, guys. Please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, like this video, and I will see you in the next lesson.